Hi everybody, welcome to my April favorites video. This month we're gonna be focusing on skincare because I've not been wearing a lot of makeup. But before I dive in, if you like favorites videos, go on and like this video. And if you'd like to see more content on Green Beauty, please go on and subscribe. All right, so the first product I actually got when the Earth Fair near me was going out of business. And uh, I went in just wondering, you know, what was on sale and what hadn't been like scavenged by raccoons and actually the beauty department still had a ton in stock so i needed mascara and i picked up the mineral fusion minerals on a mission mascara um, and this is it's their waterproof mascara um there we go i actually really love this this is in the color black and i like that it has a large kind of fluffy brush and I feel like it is, I would say, a little more uh, light impact initially. You want the product to almost dry out a bit, like after like a week or so, it's then like mm, perfect to build with. But I actually love using this to build up the impact of my lashes. I think depending on the effect you're looking for, it can be either very natural, or like I said, as a little bit of air gets in there, the product dries out, you can actually build on it a bit more. Um, it's gonna skew more on the natural, kind of effective things, but I've been really happy with that. I think solid buy. Um, I would buy it again, even if it wasn't half price uh, at Earth Fair when it was going out of business. So I really like that, the Mineral Fusion uh, Waterproof Mascara. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, next is gonna be a bit more of my daily skincare routine. So like I said, I've not really been wearing a lot of makeup. I wake up, wash my face, and put on, you know, daytime moisturizer, and I go about my day. Um, I keep my routine fairly simple. So the cleanser that I have been using is this one here. It is the Countertime Lipid Defense Cleansing Oil. So I actually like this if we kind of scoot back to nighttime. This is an amazing product for emulsifying and just melting off your makeup. I do double cleanse with it. So I use it once to really just break down the makeup. I rinse my face lightly and then I go back again with the same product, two pumps, and I do a second cleanse with it. And it removes all makeup and impurities but doesn't strip my skin at all or leave any weird residues. Like that's kind of what I was concerned about with it being more of an oil cleanser. Didn't know what to expect, but I've been really pleased with this. So a little bit of this in the morning, more like one or two pumps and just single cleanse in the morning. Uh, rinse that off. And then my daytime moisturizer has been this and I've had it for a while and I've really been liking it. It's the Beauty Counter Countertime Antioxidant Soft Cream. So I will use probably a half pump of this all over my face and I'll work it onto my neck, but I love how soft and hydrating this is. It's definitely nourishing without being heavy or sticky, so that's why I like it for daytime. I will use it at nighttime too, depending on what I'm feeling, but I have loved this as a day cream. I would highly recommend it. Now, if I'm not gonna use the countertime soft cream at night um, i've been using more of my oils and there's been a few that i have used up but the one that i'm using now is one that i actually picked up when i was in new york at indie beauty eons ago and i'm working through it um, it is the rose hip seed oil from the ordinary it's a 100 percent organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil so after i wash my face get my makeup off, get any kind of loose eye makeup gown, um, I will apply this all over my face with my eye cream and I, I've been loving it. I feel like my skin um, has really been digging quarantine to be honest. Uh, I love a silver lining so that's the one I'm gonna go with today. But yeah, it's so hydrating on the skin. It helps heal the skin and it adds an amazing amount of glow. So I look like I've been sleeping for hours which some days I am, some days I'm not. Now, because uh, I am a lady and I have hormones and also I've been eating more junkily, um, being trapped in the house, um, I've had a little bit of acne, but there's no problem with that. Um, I have been relying on my obviously well-loved Indie Lee um, 
it's their drying lotion. Like it's, I've had it long enough that like most of the label is rubbed off. But the Indie Lee drying lotion, uh, it's basically the non-toxic version of the Mario Badescu drying lotion. So what you do is take a Q-tip, um, and normally I've been shaking this up because I've been walking around with it. It's gonna be like a two, like a bifacial kind of looking product. You don't shake it. So you're gonna take your Q-tip, take it down into the product, the like sedimenty layer, get down to that with your Q-tip, pull it out, and then pop it on there. It's gonna look like calamine lotion, something like that. Um, you're not gonna look particularly adorable when you put it on, but when you wake up in the morning, you will. So there you go. But it, it is a great way to really just punch the mess out of you know, zits or like cystic acne, it dries it right up and it's awesome. But I have been loving this. If I am having some type of like blech skin issue, he's my guy. Now I found this like in a handbag and was like, oh, why am I not using this? And it came in handy because I had a little neck acne situation. It happens. I'm not the only one, it happens. And thank goodness I came across this. It's the Carter and Jane Pick Fix Rollerball. This little product is basically just like a power punch of healing skin. As the website points out, it is a blend of pomegranate seed oil, prickly pear seed oil, and an antimicrobial and healing essential oil blend. So this guy is amazing. So I had my little gross guy on my neck. He went away a little bit, kind of, but then I was left with this kind of not great looking kind of acne scar, right? So at night, after I do my skincare, I roll that on that guy and it has healed it amazingly. Now, this is a product that you can use on cuticles, on acne. They actually, as I'm looking at it, it says it can be for, you know, scrapes, bumps and bruises, chapped lips, itchy dry patches of skin. It's just a super, concentrated kind of like oil ointment that's so healing and nourishing and it has been awesome. Keeping with skincare, when I have a few extra minutes, which is kind of like often right now, um, I have been doing kind of my at-home facials. Um, I have like a peel kit that I'll use every couple weeks, um, but every week I've been doing a face mask and even though we're warming up here, I still have to do like a multi-mask situation. So I am oily as I'll get out in my T-zone and my cheeks are kind of meh, like combination dry. So that's why when I do my masks, I put this Herbivore Bright and Instant Glow Mask on my cheekies. There we go. Right around here. Not so much here or here but here, name that movie. Um, I put that there and then in my T-zone where I tend to be super oily and have a little bit more congestion, I will use the Beauty Counter Balancing and Charcoal Facial Mask. This guy, Beauty Counter has had a few masks over the years, but this guy is the one that like stands the test of time. He is not going anywhere and I hope he is not. Um, I haven't tried it in a really long time, but I remember uh, trying out the Glam Glow original mud mask that everybody was like losing their junk about and you could see like the oil being pulled out to the surface. Like it was pretty gross and satisfying. I promise you, this is the green beauty version. So if you need some super like detoxifying but not agitating, but detoxifying, just deep cleansing of the skin to remove those impurities, this is your guy. Um, it actually says, now that I look at it, um, you can use it two to, time, two, to three two to three times a week, depending on your usage. Maybe I'll start using it more now that I read that, um, but I've just been using it once a week and I love it. All right, you guys, those are my favorites for the month of April. I hope you loved this combination of yummy green beauty skincare. What have you been loving? Have you taken this month to kind of focus on your skincare as well? I hope so. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, if there's any products that you've been loving this month, drop them in the comments below. Um, I'm working through some of these products. I'm taking this opportunity to just finish up some stuff and uh, not really doing a product buy right now. But 
when things get back to normal, I'd like to have a list of things to try. So throw your ideas down in the comments below. Tell me what you're loving. And like always, if you have any video ideas or requests, let me know. Drop them down there too. But I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye.